Nigeria has over time been a major player in international affairs. The nation did not choose this role for herself. It was a role imposed by fate. The amalgamation of the North and South was a product of fate. It created the most populous black nation on earth. Population is a major determinant in the power quotient. So, the event of 1914 made Nigeria powerful Albin issue. I wish to make our position plain beyond any matter of doubt as regards the African continent. We in Nigeria appreciate the advantages which the size of our country and of its population give us, but we have absolutely no aggressive intentions. At various times in her hundred years history, this power has come into play, defining her role in international affairs. Some of the finest moments for this country have been in its foreign engagements. When we hear the world crying out for peace, we may receive the inspiration to deal with these intractable problems and be able really to devote all our resources to the advancement of mankind. A few decades after the amalgamation of the country, Nigerians from various parts of the country were drafted and taken out of the country. Their destination was Burma. The fault on the side of the colonial power Britain, the returns to the country changed persons. For many, that marked the beginning of the liberation of Nigeria from colonialism. It also marked the beginning of the active engagement of Nigeria with peacekeeping, a role that has now earned her global recognition. Nigeria became independent on 1st October in 1960, and that same 1960, Nigeria was in Congo. And remember that General, uh, Major General Agui Ironsi was one time a force commander in Congo. Nigeria's role in the fight against apartheid remains a watershed in African history. Nigeria supported the struggle for freedom everywhere from Mozambique to South Africa. It culminated in the famous declaration by the iconic Nigerian leader, General Motala Mohammed, that Africa has come of age. The decision of the Motala government to nationalize British petroleum is acknowledged to have been a pivotal point in the battle against apartheid. Nigeria actually at the time gave a um, Angola 20 million dollars at the time you know to to stabilize after they had been birthed of course apartheid as well Nigeria did the same Nigeria was also very generous to um, Namibia Swapo Nigeria gave Swapo a lot of money five hundred thousand dollars we gave um, ANC two million dollars at the time to stabilize them a fund was set up um, by Nigerians, into which most civil servants, everybody paid some money into that fund to liberate Southern Africa. Nigeria declared that Africa is the cornerstone of her foreign policy. The country took custody of the leadership of the African continent, from its role as a dominant force in the West African region to the silent diplomacy in its technical aid corps, which has now spread to about three continents. Nigeria's foreign policy has in the contemporary age produced mixed results. Professor Viola Onwolere, Nigeria's foreign affairs minister, chooses to describe Nigeria's current foreign policy as multi-track policy. In this time and age, where we have many challenges across the world, a lot of things are happening within and out there. So we are carrying different things. We are talking about our nationals within and outside. We are talking about the attraction of foreign direct investment. We are looking after health problems. We are talking, taking on security issues across the globe and so on and so forth. Of course, engaging our uh, other countries in very good relationships. So a lot is happening at this time. In 2013, Nigeria got elected to the United Nations Security Council as a non-permanent member. The support was almost unanimous. It was in recognition of how prominent the country has become in international affairs. Nigeria is uh, one of the most uh, powerful and fastest growing countries uh, in the world. Uh, I think that's testified by the fact that President uh, Jonathan's going to have the opportunity to ring the bell uh, at the New York Stock Exchange. I think it's, uh, it signifies uh, how important uh, Nigeria is becoming uh, in the global economy. At the time of independence, Nigeria had 10 missions. Today, they have grown to 108. The country produced by the Act of 1914 is one the world cannot ignore.